four or thirty two are or toss on you. Open so. Nana no one's round Kenya or more Santa Maso, regional minister, DCs and MCs, MPC Nina or more Santa Memo, possessing the nation's agenda for any Asore Ma or more Ghana any Yasia Fanina. A busia for me the Enchia Cassia and a Abram, Nidikan, ya better or two for Yanko Ponce, a one near Waye, near Oye, and a dear Obekoswa. Aye, ni ato sumi yenu, mede aseda kesi e na emamo, e wo odosno kwa madani di atreme e wa kinsi yenu, minimse, enku nimbi e jeje di e ankasa. It has been weeks of exposition on our culture, tradition, and our customs and values, and tonight is not an exception. We will be educated on the tourist sites in our land, and of course, culture. You know how we always do it. As you stay glued to your seat and you enjoy, please don't forget to keep voting by dialing star 713 star 13 hash. Or you can download the TVP Reality app on Google Play Store or Apple App Store. Ebusia 4, Mrs. Remo, I need you to vote so that it can help me to get to the finals and that will also help me to embark on my project, which is transforming people who find themselves at rehabilitation centers to reintegrate them back into society. Ebusia 4, Ghana man, Mrs. Remo, Omayankoswa and Tuabe, I am for Ahincheno, Embra Asantumwa, Medamwase. Safwa is clothed by Organzi Eccentric with hair by Best and More Limited. Ladies well groomed by African American Beauty Academy, inspiring beauty beyond borders. Accessories by Magdal Kutu. Nananom, Empenyum Four, distinguished invited judges and guests, ladies and gentlemen, all protocol observed. It is evening, and as a descendant from the Ashanti region, we greet Majo, and you respond Yeku. Ebusia for Majo. Thank you so much. I introduce to you the land that always receives her visitors with Akwaba, Mepacho, Yama Kakra, which means welcome. Please let us give you some water. This even shows how hospitable and receptive my people are. Let me once again introduce you to the land that is the cultural heartbeat of the country. Taking a break, leaving home, and exploring all around the world for recreational or business purposes is tourism. And the only place that you can be and have so much fun is the Ashanti region. Let us take a break and settle the tummy. As we all know that food is part of the culture of the people, I present to you food that comes with a rhythm. Tim, 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 Nayaka. Ni ya dane, ne ko, ne ba. Me chwe fufu ni ya ponchin krakrebi. Na sa wopene very light and swa. Unya wobo di ya mpe siye biya son son. Ene konto me poto shiye gusu biya. Ode mamo niye chim na woka ko kakra. Uko bi wongo, uko suya. Ene pe di dem na chese wedi first. There are other local dishes. Such as the akantye. We have the to. And so many others. Which I know and I believe. That you would enjoy so much. The Ashanti region. Is a famous land all over the world known for its revered and unique palace which is the Menchia palace and it is the seat of the power of the highest king in the Ashanti kingdom currently otumfo osei tutu abebi otosumino opemswa otikokoswa nana and inside the Menshia Palace is the Menshia Palace Museum, which is the repository of all the history about the Ashanti region. If you want to know more, that is the right place for you. Not only that, but the only natural lake in the whole of Ghana is in my region. I am talking about the Lake Wosomche which was created as a result of a meteorite that fell and hit the township of Bosomche. But have you ever wondered why the name Bosomche? This and many other fun activities you would enjoy and experience when you visit the place. You know that we can never talk about culture and tourism and leave out the Center for National Culture, also known as Kumase Cultural Center. And inside the Kumase National, um, the Kumase Cultural Center is the um, the Prempe the Second Jubilee Museum, where you would go and experience one of the Asante war drums 
which is made from a skin of an antelope, and it is called a chie. And that particular drum, we use a stick to scratch, and it makes sounds like the leopard roaring. I tell you that you do not play that drum, but we only scratch with a stick. And also, not forgetting, bunri, yanko bunri kakra. Crow, 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 he, 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 he. Ah, and you they say, I welcome you to Bonre Kente Weaving Village, where you would see beautiful and colorful Rio Kente, the master craftsmanship and the origin of Kente. The story about the Kente is about 400 years ago. Some young, young gentlemen who are natural, um, who are professional farmers and hunters, and they, as they were going about their daily activity, came across a spider. And upon seeing what the spider was doing, that wasn't the first time, but they were like, Oh, we can actually draw inspiration from this and create something beautiful. So they experimented. One, two, three, and on the fourth one, they came up with something. Safwa, that's all your four minutes will allow you. Ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause for Safwa representing the Ashanti region this evening, selling as best as she can. Now, I want to move to the judges to hear them on her performance for this first phase and then the second one will come Safwa Mepacho Jina in Finfinho. I'm going straight to Janet who says the numero de nenia brepa and I want to receive her and her comments this evening. Janet, what would you tell Safwa? Safwa, how are you? Good to see you. Um, as a tourist, so I, I'm going to position myself as a tourist. And usually a tourist would have read a little bit about a region or a country before they go there. And the most typical things we will read will be about Ya Santua. We will read deeply about the Ashanti Kingdom and what it meant in the history of Ghana. Ya Santua was missing for me. Um, I heard a little bit about the Ashanti Kingdom. It's one of the kingdoms that is still strong till today. So I was expecting to delve a little bit in there because from the beginning of the competition, you have really stood strong for your region and I appreciate that. There was a little bit of fumbling here and there, maybe because of pressure, but please just make sure that the second part of the competition today, which is about question and answers, you nail it. You nail it very well. Thank you so much. Well done, Safwa. Thank you. All right. Thank you, Janet. Moving straight to our guest judge, Honorable Catherine Afeku. What do you make of Safwa's performance? I'm fine. Thank you. Um, Can you hear me? Yes, please. You look very lovely. Thank you. And I enjoyed the diction. You're very poised, confident. Uh, the lapses was, I think, because you were told you had four minutes. Yes. But overall, I also missed the story of the warriors of the Ashanti Kingdom and the gold, Coco. So there were a few things that but you couldn't do all in four minutes. But overall, I liked your confidence. And uh, the next round, put in your maximum so you can make up for the little uh, shortcomings that we saw in your first one. Yes, please. Good job. Thank you Honorable, thank you very much. Now, to keep Safwa in the competition, you know exactly what to do. Tonight is very crucial. Safwa, please join me here. Tonight is very, very crucial, so you need to keep her in the competition. Star 713, star 13, hash. Young lady, how are you doing? Fine, thank you. Okay, so move to your left a little bit. Okay. We are about to test your knowledge in current affairs and general politics in Ghana and Africa. Are you ready? Yes, please. All right, so there are seven questions here. Um, let me just throw them about a little bit. Pick one, and then I would ask you the question. You give your answer, and you say goodbye for tonight. Yes, and please. wait for what the judges will say. So please go back to your podium. Thank you. So Safwa this evening has chosen question number four. Okay. You have to listen with attention. Are you ready? Yes. How are you feeling, by the way? Just relax. Great stuff. <laughs> and yeah, easy, but you'll be fine. Thank All right, you. Safwa. So here's your question. There is a strong advocacy for women's representation in government and other decision-making centers. What, in your view, is the best approach to ensuring that women would be adequately represented? 
Are Just you good? I should go over it again. Okay. There is a strong advocacy for women's representation in government and other decision-making centers. What, in your view, is the best approach to ensuring that women would be adequately represented? Okay. Thank you very much for the question. Upon hearing this, the, what it is actually trying to insinuate is women empowerment. And as we all know that as a country, we have gone far in empowering women to take up positions in our country and even in certain places. But I would advise or propose that we could start from the scratch where we could educate, educate the girl child about the education on women empowerment and how to take positions at the top so that they will be part of the decision making whenever it comes up. Even as the Bible said that train up a child the way he or she should go and when he grows he will not depart from it. I believe that if we should start and add it to the curricula of our education system, it will enable and help nurture and nature the young girls or the young women who are coming up. And as a country, with the political parties that we have, I believe that we could reserve some political seats with the strongholds in the regions that we have. For example, if we have the MPP, we know the strongholds um, in, in different regions that the MPP has. So they can leave or reserve some seats for the women so that they can also be given opportunity to represent themselves and women as a whole. Thank you. She's from the Ashanti region. Her name is Safwa. Please do it better for her. Safwa, you can go Thank backstage. You. You. Now, tonight is very crucial. So to keep Safwa in the competition, star 713, star 13, hash, add her name to keep her in the competition.